front clip removal, 67, 72 Chevy GM trucks. This is 2,500. Uh, starting at the front, take the front bumper off. Coming down here, these are your radiator core supports, 11 sixteenths. Go in like this, these little pucks. Had two bolts, one to capture. Underneath, you got that bolt back here. It's a 5 8 Underneath, that one right there. It's nine sixteenths. And once you take the cow off, some screws. You go through little screw holes right here, all the way down. It's pretty simple. There's two nine sixteenths. These come off. Disconnect your lines. Pull any type of fluid. Come to the other side. Same thing. Radiator support. Bolt underneath. Two upper fender one lower coming in from that way and there's a ground strap on this side kind of in this general vicinity but underneath see it right here that's connected up to the inner fender right there I don't remember what size that is it's small driver's side over here, inner fender. You gotta take off this right here. It's 9 sixteenths. Just kidding, it's half. Right about this. This strap right here has to come off. So it's also half. So to pull it off without messing up your, your inner fenders, you actually have to unbolt the inner fenders from the fender and then slip your strap here and probably put like a wood brace right along the outside of the fender so it doesn't deflect it in too much. So take those off. You got half inch bolts. There's eight of them. One here, 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 back there, over here, over here, and there. So there's two brackets there. So one more. So there's actually 12 bolts total. I did not need to take these off over here. Okay, side straps didn't work. Deflected the fenders any too much. Just kind of worried they were gonna bend. Um, two by four across the radiator support. This is a little angle. It's right here. You gotta bend in them so they're a little bit more solid. There's a small lip right here that you could kind of wedge up against. Strap around that. I'm not seeing any deflection. It did pull it right off the frame, but probably would be best with like two other people, one on each back of the fenders, and then somebody eating it out with the hoist. It's pretty light, but it's just the balance. 
So the hoist idea worked. Got the entire front off. Wiped it, noticed a difference.